and we're going to stand there like a statue. We're going to take a look at the, the field, left, right, middle, and we're going to see which area is open. As soon as we decide, we're going to take off with agility that can take off. We stand there like a statue, we read the field, we see that we can take it to the outside in this case, and we're gone. What you just saw was a clip that I posted in Madden 15 in our membership section. Um, Wildcat is something that I've used for many, many years, and we're going to take a look at using the same concept as I did in Madden 15. Now, before we get into that, if you're wondering why I haven't posted on YouTube lately, well, it's actually because I did a bit of a change of direction. Um, YouTube videos only give you so much, especially when it comes to Madden. If you've ever purchased an ebook from myself before, I'm the only site out there that not only shows you the setup, but it also gives you a picture of the final setup for each and every play, and then of course the video explaining everything about it. So I thought, you know what, I'm not going to do the YouTube videos anymore. I want to take it a step further so that you guys have a place that you can go for free to take a look at the setups, take a look at the pictures, and really understand things that much better. All you have to do is go to mrsmith26.com. I'll put a link in the description and just sign up to the free section and you're good to go. You'll have access to anything that I post for free. I've already got a 3-4 odd up there and I've got nickel normal up there all for free for you guys and Next, I'm going to be posting more defense as well. So definitely go check that out. So let's get into it. Wildcat trips over. This can be found in uh, Cleveland, Minnesota, and Running Gun Playbook. This is the Wildcat trips over. Now in Pass Balance, they have, is it Pass Balance or Run Balance? Run Balance. They have Wildcat Normal, which is what I used in Madden 15 but I actually don't like it as much this year. So it's the exact same concept. What we're going to do is we're going to break the huddle and we're going to max protect. Then we're going to stand there like a statue, just like you saw, and we're going to read the lanes. Once we find the lane that we want to attack, we're going to tap right trigger one time. This is not like Madden 15 where you could just take off. We're going to tap right trigger one time and then we're going to be able to take off with our player with absolute ease. So watch, right here we tap at one time and see the agility that we're able to spin around and move. Now here, right, watch, I tap it once, so I'm on the move, and then I get excited thinking that it's the old days and I tap it one more time. And what that does is it made my quarterback, which in this case is just a wide receiver take a look it makes him stand up so right here and now now he's standing up when i should be taking off this should be a touchdown this should be a touchdown but i mess up and i tap it two times instead of once it's going to take a little bit of time to get used to um, but once you get it you just tap it that one time see you just you're gone and then you can make moves as a running back whatever now in regular teams, this is going to be something that is ideal with a Russell Wilson, a Deshaun Watson, Marcus Mariota, because then you're going to be able to pass the ball out of the play as well. And you're not always going to just max protect, right? Sometimes you'll pass, sometimes you won't. So the play is PA Jet Sweep. And as you can see right here, we roll out and look. I just tapped it once. I didn't hesitate. I didn't tap it twice by mistake. And now we're just gone. I mean, we're just taken off with absolute speed. Now, in regular teams, again, we don't have those super players. But as you can see, just take a look at the agility here. And he's got some spies out there. Now, QB spies are going to do really well when you max protect and just try to stand there because it's going to be hard to get away from you can get away from them but it's going to be hard but as you can see here we've got the running back out there and then r1 bounces off the sideline and we can still make that throw 
we can also make that throw um, with here we got Alex Smith so I apologize I'm gonna go back a little bit here so we don't max protect here our first read is triangle against man our second read is circle and this is gonna be so great because anytime we do this and the motion is like say to the right side of the field they're going to sell out to the right they're going to just either run commit or something and that's when we're going to be able to throw these passes over the middle of the field why you know this is why having Bo Jackson or Michael Vick if you're playing ultimate team is just so so valuable or if you have a really fast quarterback in regular teams and to finish it off we're going to show some play we definitely need to be mixing up because if they put if you're playing with regular teams and they're putting QB spies out there like you can get away from one QB spy but I've ran this play on people so much all like up and down the field that they're like okay fine I'm just gonna go with two QB spies so as you can see right here you can either hand it off to the guy in motion and you do that by pressing X on the PS4 or you can take it with the running back or QB in order to do that you just don't press anything and as you can see here you just find the lane and we're gone so as I mentioned you need to be running the play power as a mix-up because if they start putting spies on the field this is the play that you're going to use to absolutely shred them to death I love the Wildcat this is really hard to stop you if people don't know about spies and whatever you can get away with just having your running back or wide receiver there um, because there's a lot of people even even the best players you know you could use this against a best player if he doesn't understand what he has to do to stop it at least the first couple times I mean you're going to shred him it's without a spy or two it's really an unstoppable play it's literally unstoppable um, but then you, if you're playing let's say you're playing against somebody who's giving you trouble but he's giving you trouble but he doesn't really know much about Madden I mean you, you'll absolutely destroy him using a play like this and of course you can flip the play as well so that if you want to run power to the other side of the field the wide side you can certainly do that as well but I recommend Bo Jackson and Michael Vick for running this I mean the headaches that you could give your opponent is ridiculous so again don't forget to check the link in the description check out the site mr smith26.com and i'll see you guys soon